Hello friends, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox. Today I'm presenting for the Funky Junkie Boutique and showing you four different ways to use an embossing folder. So this is the Acorns 3D embossing folder from Tim Holtz and uh, one of my favorites. So I'm gonna show you some techniques. So here is that folder, and again, you can see it's got lots of texture on it. It has a embossed and a debossed side. So I'm gonna show you how to use both sides. So for this first one, I'm using a panel that I have used the um, mica, mica spray on. And again, these are kind of the fall colors, the oranges and the browns and the yellows. And so I embossed it in the folder, and then I pulled out my archival ink. This is a Ground Espresso, and I am just running it over the top to really accentuate um, the lines and, and the leaves and just really making them pop out. So here's the second one that I'm doing. So again, this is one I'm going to use um, the embossing glazes on. So again, I'm using olive and um, vintage vintage photo on this one. So again, just kind of adding um, adding the embossing powder or embossing glaze powder after I have run a Versamark uh, pad over it. So again, I'm gonna get all these greens to stick. So I also have peeled paint in here and the olive. So again, just kind of adding some green greens in here. And as Tim said, dance on the bottom, use your fingers and kind of create a dance on, which makes the powders kind of move around a little bit. And so I've added a little more powder there. I had some blank spots. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a flat um, brush and just knock off the extra from where I don't want it. And then I'm going to heat it up. I love to watch these glazes heat up because they just kind of melt out and become shiny. They're just really, really very, very fun to play with. So. So there's the green part of the panel. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick up the um, Distress Pen. So this is a Versamark pen um, that we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color in like the acorns. I'm drawing the branches um, so that again, I have a um, sticky uh, surface to attach the vintage photo embossing glaze on. So again, I'm just kinda of working my way around here, making sure that I've got, um, got brown on both the acorns and the branches. And then we'll go ahead and pull out that vintage photo and it's gonna make a mess, you know, and I know that to begin with. So hopefully I can, uh, again, use the brush if I need to, to get the excess off of there. So again, just kind of adding the, adding the browns. And it doesn't take much. It's just like a little little pinch between your fingers and then you just kind of rub your fingers together and the glaze comes off. So again, I got, um, you know, I knocked off the excess um, and here I am heat embossing to make sure that they, you know, that the powder melts and adds that glaze. So this one, you can see the background is kind of that cream color. So what I did was I pulled out my, um, my ink pad. I'm gonna go ahead and rub it over the flat half of the embossing folder. And then you can add the embossed piece back in. It kind of locks in place. And so we're gonna run it through again. And you can see that that added color to the background. So here we're starting with a new panel. So again, I'm adding the, uh, the Versamark ink so that again, it makes it uh, the surface uh, sticky. And this time I'm using the um, olive spiced, or spiced marmalade and seedless preserves. Again, kind of some nice bold fall colors, needless to say. So again, I pulled out this tiny spoon this time and we're gonna go ahead and just um, add the different colors. So obviously I put the green on the leaves and then we're gonna add some of the orange for the acorns and then I'm gonna add more of the seedless preserves on the leaves. And yes, I am creating a party mix. So these obviously will not go back in the jars. You know, when you're using a single color, you can 
you know, add them over paper and then fold the paper up and put them back in the jars. This time, ah, not so much. So again, I'm dancing on the bottom here again. And then you'll see I've got some blank spaces there. So I'm going to go ahead and throw, pick up that party mix and add it, you know, onto the front. Again, I kind of wanted to make sure the whole thing was covered. Um, and that the background also had some of the embossing glaze powder on it. So again, I'm going to heat, heat set all of that. And so the party mix got thrown away. <laughs> Next thing I'm doing is I'm grabbing my, um, one of the brown Distress crayons and I've added water and I'm just kind of moving that around with a, um, it's actually a, a uh, what is it? It's a stenciling brush. So again, just kind of adding enough enough brown on there that I can cover that entire, entire background. It does kind of darken it up quite a bit. Again, I didn't want the, uh, the white or the cream spots there. And so again, when I've gone back and we're starting the next card here, so this time I am rubbing, rubbing the shabby shutters over the... Um, what do I want to say? It's not um, the, the raised portion on the folder, and it is going to deboss um, the background. So look at that. That's kind of cool. Um, so that's my, this is my fourth card here that I'm working on. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my Distress watercolor pencils, and so I need some browns. So I've got some water there, and I've just added the um, water to the pencil and then put it on that little piece of plastic, and then I'm going ahead and coloring in all of the acorns. And so in the end, I decided I wanted them a little darker. So I pulled out the um, one of the darker brown mica sprays. And we'll go ahead and just kind of use a real fine tip <laughs> on the paintbrush. And then I'm painting in all the brushes. And then as I said, in the end, I decided to add the brown back to the acorns as well so that they would pop out quite a bit. So again, just kind of coloring using the, um, the thin watercolor brush and adding brown to the acorns. I just, I really like this folder. This one is just, um, you know, it actually came out last fall, but again, is one of my most used embossing folders when I'm, when I'm doing fall things. Just so much fun here. Just adding, making sure I get all the little branches. And again, I'm using the mica spray which I put on my craft mat. And then we'll go ahead and keep. Um... So I ended up adding orange splatter um, to kind of give it some more color. So there is, there is the um, embossed glazed one. Here is an embossed glazed one as well. And then here is the, the final background. And that one is the mica stain background that is embossed and then inked. So I also created a little little note um, sentiments. So the um, the longer sentiment is from the Nature's Wonder. Um, that's CMS three four three, and then the round ones are from the Note Quotes, and that's CMS four six three. So again, I kind of created a little leaf here, and this one came from the Nature's Wonder, and I glazed over both the sentiments and this leaf here, and then I fussy cut the leaf out so that I could pop that up. And it's just mounted on a craft craft base. So again, I used a lot of craft on this one. So this is the glazed piece um, with the olive and the seedless preserves and the spiced marmalade. And again, I cut out, I fussy cut out one of the branches and an additional leaf, and then I cut out a, like about a, one and three quarter, two inch um, tab here, and we're gonna go ahead and glue that on. And so I kind of, I've already positioned one of the branches, and so I want the panel to be lined right up against it, so it kind of looks like it's part of it. And then I have an additional leaf here that I'm adding glue to, and we'll go ahead and put that on the front. And then we'll just go ahead and add the sentiment that I um, used the embossing glaze in the seedless preserve. So we'll go ahead and glue that onto the front as well. 
So again, you can kind of see used a lot of fall colors, used a lot of craft card stock. Um, just really, really enjoyed these. So here is the, um, this is the glazed one. And so what I did was I tied a piece of twine behind it before I added it to the craft, um, you know, card base. And you can see here that I'm tying a bow. And then we'll go ahead and add the uh, sentiment, sentiment circle underneath it. So I want to make sure that I get, um, you know, get the twine where I want it. So I'm kind of messing around with it here. Then we'll go ahead and tie, tie. actually I just tied a knot, not a bow. I misspoke. So again, then we're going to go ahead and add the sentiment right there, kind of in the middle underneath that knot. So again, adding my glue. There we go, and that finishes that card. And here's the final card. So again, this is that debossed one. And I've already attached the circular sentiment with a piece of twine. So here are all of my cards. So here is the, um, the glazed one. This is also a glazed one. This is the um, mica, mica panel, and this is the debossed one that I just showed you. So again, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Blogger. Would love to have you come and follow. And again, all these products are courtesy of the Funky Junkie Boutique. Have a great day.